In today's video, I'm going to be showing you one of my new favorite routes to put my running back on in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, I just want to let you know that my channel is all about helping people get better at Madden 21. And we actually upload videos on our YouTube channel every single day at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're interested in getting better at the game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And I'd also encourage you to consider joining my text message membership. Basically what my text message membership is, is every single week I sit down and I break down a full offensive scheme or defensive scheme and I send it to you via text message. All you have to do to sign up is text me. My number is 812-216-3644. Now these are full schemes and they're typically 45 minutes to an hour long. We've covered the Carolina Gun Bunch. We've covered the Minnesota Vikings single back trio. We've covered the gun cluster from the Arizona book. Uh, we just covered the gun Y off trips Pats formation uh, from the New England book as well as the split close and the ace slot offset. So we have a ton of content offensively. We also have some defensive stuff in there as well. We have our whole big nickel over G uh, defense. We also have a really, really good run defense as well. So if you're interested, just shoot me a text. My number's in the description. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. And I'll just give it to you real quick. It's 812-216-3644. All right, guys, so I wanted to talk about this today, and I really wanted to talk about it as it pertains to Mabel coverage. So you see a lot of people doing this right now um, in Compet. You've seen it pretty much all year, but this is a this is a concept that people are doing in Mabel coverage that I find really fascinating. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to do some version of this. They're going to put their flats on five yards or zero yards. They're going to put their curl flats on 20 to 25 yards. Now they might flip that. So you might have this where the flats are on 20 and the curl flats are on five or vice versa, right? We're gonna show it to you with the curl flats being on 20 and the flats being on five yards, okay? And we're just gonna do this out of the nickel three, three, five wide. And a lot of people are using the Mike Blitz three. Um, we broke down that defense a little bit yesterday uh, on the channel. If you guys need a link for that, just shoot me a text and I can shoot you the link to the video um, as well for that one. But anyway, Mike Blitz 3. And we can come out in any uh, offense that we want. Now, this is my New England offense. I just wrote an ebook on this. The ebook's over 300 pages long with over uh, 36 formation breakdowns. So if you're interested in that offensive ebook, um, that link is in the description. But we're just going to come out and we don't have to do it at trip tight end. Let's just do it out of anything. Let's, let's keep it super, super simple. And this is actually a formation I've been using that I actually really enjoy uh, the doubles flex. And we're going to do it out of the play dagger um, because dagger, there's, you know, you, you need kind of a good two man route combination on the right side to go with the really good three man route combination over the middle of the field. So people are Mabel coverage, right? You're seeing this all over the place, right? Um, they'll do something like this. Basically they'll send two or three people. And then what they're going to do is they're basically going to drop their linebackers in flat zones. This guy is going to be their user defender. So to mimic that, we're going to put him in a, just a hook curl or something like that. And then you have this three red hook right here. You might, a lot of people have been putting him in vert hooks. So you see, this is kind of the basic coverage. Now the route that I like to use with my running back serves the same purpose as a flat route, but it, it also serves the same purpose. Like against the blitz, you could step through it. What I like about it is it gives you some late check downs. Now you can only do this if you have backfield master um, or hot route master. So most people that are playing mutt, have that on their running back because it only costs one AP. Um, pretty much everyone knows that Reggie Bush is the best running back in Mutt right now. But if you don't have backfield master, if you just have hot route master, maybe you're playing regs, I'll do this with the Saints or obviously with the Bucks here. But what you'll notice here is all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my running back on a ghost route. As you see right there, um, it's the left, it's one of the most underutilized routes, I think, in Madden. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run a basic curl flat concept to the back side. So we're going to put our curl out there and this ghost. And what you'll see here, the snap of the ball, is this ghost is going to sit at a very interesting spot. And what's really interesting to me is what that ghost route will do to flat zones. You'll notice that the flat zone is going to kind of come up to defend the ghost route, even though he really doesn't defend him. And I just want to show you instant replay here, and then we'll go into kind of why this is important. 
So you'll notice that the yellow zones don't really respond, and obviously the use that would be a user, and more than likely what the user is going to do is he's going to go from the drag route right there, and then he's going to go get that deep in route coming in behind it, as we could have thrown both of those. What you'll also notice though is that 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 uh, hook curl route won't drop back either. So the yellow zones don't really play this ghost route. What I thought was really fascinating, if you look at the flat, see how he comes in and he doesn't react to the ball and we can throw it right over his head to our, our backside guy. So now, and this is why it's really, really good against Mabel coverage because you can do a couple of different things with your running back. So let's run the same play here. But now I want to show you a little bit of, let's say that their user goes and covers um, let's say their user goes and he covers that in route, right? So we're just going to mimic that with man coverage. But it, it, essentially what it means is he's going to vacate that middle of the field, right? So what you'll see here is now the middle of the field is wide open. All we have to do is we can basically playmaker this ghost back across the middle of the field, or we can play, playmaker him up pretty much wherever we want him to go, and he becomes a great check down read for anything that we want to do on the offensive side of the ball. What is also really cool is let's just show you just a base Tampa 2 and how they're probably going to try to stop this. So if they if they throw yellow zones at it, right, you see here, see how the yellow zones are at it? And you see how the yellow zones will come down on the ghost route? What's really nice about this, especially if you're using, like, different curls or different post routes, like, it, it's really, really nice if you're using a post. Um, and, and I might not have a play that I could show this to you from, but this, like, we'll just use a deep in route. So I'm going to run cover two. Now, typically what's going to happen is those yellows are going to drop back to defend the in route. But as you can see here, they come up on the ghost. And obviously the mid read goes back on it. But if I throw that a little, <coughs> excuse me, if I throw that a little bit earlier, um, I'm going to be able to hit this. So look again, right real quick here. This is just simple. You know, it's just an in route and ghost route combination. That's all this is. But you'll see, see how he takes both. See how the ghost route will take both, especially if they're doing different types of zone drops and things like that. So the, the the ghost route is really, really good for sucking defenders down. Another thing that it's really good for is, even though it sucks defenders down at a pretty high level, what you'll notice is you can still throw this. So let's say the play breaks down and you just need to get the ball out. The ghost route is gonna be there for you if you need to do that. One other thing real quick that I wanna show you, and this is why I really like this like as a check down if let's say I'm running, you know, four verticals and I and I have this, right? Watch this right here. See how it's just a simple check down and now I got space. If there's no flat zones, if there's no yellow zones underneath, I can easily take that space and uh, and beat it. The other thing that you can do with this is against man coverage. So let me show you man coverage here. Watch the man coverage. See how the man coverage is going to sit on it? But what you can do with that route is you can play make that open against man coverage. It's kind of similar to um, a tactic that people would use in Madden, I believe it was, I'm trying, I'm drawing a blank on the year. I think it was Madden 15. It might have been, it might have been even beyond that. Um, it might have been Madden. It wasn't Madden 25. It was either Madden 15 or Madden 16, maybe even Madden 17. I'm pretty sure it's Madden 16. Um, but what you'll see right here is this ghost route. Watch what happens. So he's going to settle up right there. Now, if I playmaker him to the left, you'll see he's going to roast that man coverage. See that right there? He roasts the man coverage and he's able to get open against a broken down play. And what you'll notice is this is gonna work for multiple different situations. So let's say they do something like, you know, like this, right? They're only gonna send two. Everybody's in man to man across the board. So what I'm gonna do with my back is take him on that and put him on that little ghost route. And what you'll see here is they're gonna come out and guard him, but I can playmaker him open. As you see here, I can playmaker him to the right and he's gonna get open. I can playmaker him up, he's gonna get open. And I can playmaker him across the formation and he's going to get open. One other quick thing about this, um, as far as it pertains to the back, is let's say let's say you're facing um, let's say you're facing man to man coverage, right? And let's just think for a second that you're facing some type of man pressure. So you don't want to throw this if the linebacker doesn't come. But if the linebacker on that right side, if he comes, I'm going to snap and I'm going to throw this ball right to the running back. Snap, throw. Right there, you see see how he gets out and he gets up against that? If that linebacker comes, there's a window to throw that ball right at the rip. And what I really like about that is let's say they're doing something like this from Mike Blitz 2, right? We're going to play underneath coverage at five yards. Um, let me show this to you one more time. And I need to get uh, I need to get my guys in the proper alignment here. So 
something like this, right? You got cloud flat coverage. So say that safety is going to come down, right? Because this is what people will do to try to stop this is they're going to play that hard flat and they're thinking that that safety is going to come down and he's going to make a play on the back. What you'll notice because it's a ghost route, because he's stopping, it's an inside flat route. See, he's just going to catch it and get up field, catch it and get up field. That's what I like about this route. This route serves a lot of different purposes and a lot of different roles within your offense, and you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Um, and the one thing I didn't show you was like a cover three uh, with yellow. So I want to show you the yellows from a cover three. But what you'll see here, the yellows with the cover three, they won't guard it. As you can see, they're going to stay back, and you can take that and take you know five to 15 yards, um, depending on how much, obviously, room you have to be able to run with this post snap. We'll show this to you one more time. You'll see just these hook curls, right? Don't guard it, don't guard it, don't guard it. That little hard flat does guard it, but he doesn't guard it enough, and you can easily take that check down. So this is becoming one of my favorite routes to use in Madden 21 just because of the purpose that it serves. As this, It just kind of sits there, and that's one of the things I love about it. It's a great blitz-beating route. It really, truly is. And what I also like about it is it's really, really good against Mabel coverage. One of the things I didn't cover in this video that I probably should, and we're going to actually do that real quick for you before we take off here, if they run Mabel coverage, right, this this is really good for zone coverage. Let's say that you're running something like this, right? You have the flat route to, to Gronk, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put that ghost right out there. Now, you would you probably want to do this uh, to the wide side of the field, so we're going to push on the back to the left side. You definitely would want to do this to the wide side of the field. So we're just going to do this on the left side instead of on the right, right? Same combination here. But what you'll notice is if you watch the back as he slips out here, that the flats are all going to go left. And then you just basically playmaker him up against that Mabel with that three wreck. And as you can see, now you've opened up more space. And if they're not putting yellow zones out there, right, if they're cross you know, if they're not putting yellow zones out there, um, this is going to be wide open. So this is a play, you know, again, it's, it's nothing groundbreaking, but I think it's something really simple that you can easily add uh, into your repertoire. Uh, as you can see here, it just sits against that zone. It sits. The flats don't do anything to guard it. That's what I like about it. Um, I, I really, you know, honestly, I learned this from, from watching uh, Joke play Abe. I was like, why is he running that? Why is he running that? Why is he running that? And when you're curious, you start to ask yourself, why do pro players do the things that they do? Oftentimes, you learn something really, really um, valuable. And I, I feel like this is actually really, really valuable. I think there's a lot of things that you can do with this. Um, again, because they're playing those hard flats, even though they're going to tackle him, they're not going to stop him. You know, and and again, if you see this back, this line, this linebacker on this right side. Uh, whoops! If you see this backer on this line, if you see him blitz, right blitz throw, instant throw, and you can get a couple yards out of that. Um, another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could do something like this. Like you could basically run a a smoke screen to Miller, and then you could run your ghost route, and now you've got same kind of concept right here. Snap, throw, and go. So a lot of options with this. I just wanted to break this down for you today. I just wanted to share this with you. I thought this was actually really, really effective, um, and I think it will continue to be effective because again, you get that animation. As long as you don't mess up with your with your catch, you're gonna you're gonna be able to go. And if you want to get the ball out quick, all right, he blitzes. All right, we're just gonna throw it out to the flat quick, and he's still gonna get up field like he would on a flat route. So this is quickly becoming one of my favorite routes in Madden 21. I would encourage you to check it out. Test it out, especially if you play Mutt and you have a backfield master. If you haven't joined the text message membership, I would highly encourage it. Um, I really believe in the content that we're putting out. A lot of people have said that the material in the text message membership is it, it should not be free, right? It should be paid material. It's better than a lot of ebooks that they purchase with their money. And so, what we want you to know here at my channel is we take a ton, a ton of time to put into these guides, to put into these videos for you, to try to get you the actual best content that you can get, but also to get you the most effective tactics so that you can win more games and be more effective in Madden 21. So I want to thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions, just shoot me a text message. Or if you want to sign up for our text message videos, all you got to do is shoot me a text. It goes right to my personal cell phone number. It is my personal cell phone number. And so I look forward to uh, to talking with you. If you have any questions, like I said, just hit me up. we got three more videos coming today, one at four, one at six, and one at eight. There's also a bunch of videos that you might have missed that are going to come up on your screen right now.